what this is all about in political terms is the empowerment of direct experience. We all are sold a bill of goods. Maybe you remember the Bob Dylan song where he says, it is not he or she or them or it that you belong to. This is what psychedelics teach you. We're not gonna learn it from Der Spiegel, from Time Magazine. It doesn't come like that. Direct experience, your experience, your opinion, your feelings, your sexuality is the only real thing in your universe. Don't transfer loyalty to ideology, to money, to party, to friends. All of these things are outside of the core of your reality and centuries of programming have been laid on to all of us. They do not want people to take back their minds. And we're going to take back our minds. Soon, the sooner better. That's really, to my mind, the bottom line. That's why this thing has potential world consequences, because an empowered individual in touch with their own existential core can do what that guy did with the 18 tanks. It was an idea that stopped the tanks, and it was an idea expressed not over state radio, not through the newspapers, but by one person taking a stand. You know, a great American philosopher, and I hope it was Emerson, <laughs> said, if you are right, you are a majority of one. You are a majority of one. And this is what we all need to realize. We are responsible for ourselves, and we will set the agenda for the human future. The mushrooms once said to me, you must have a plan. If you don't have a plan, you will become part of somebody else's plan. The question was asked during the question period, what about people who do it on the natch? And I think the answer has to be expanded to say, that's very fine for them, and we wish saints all the best of luck. But what about the rest of us poor bastards who don't have uh, the blessings of angels upon our quest? You don't need ideology. You don't need method. Gurus should find honest work. And I would think that the four of us would have succeeded up here tonight if you would leave this place tonight determined to do more, go deeper. It's fine to tell your friends, but the real obligation on all of us who are psychedelic astronauts is to go deeper empower ourselves. You know, the American novelist John Crowley said a wonderful thing about psychedelics. He said, the further in you go, the bigger it gets. 